Hi, welcome to this um, tutorial because I was installing the latest Arch Linux on my SSD and I was almost finished. I set everything up, extensions and all that in the browsers Vivaldi and Firefox. Then I did my PKS, PKSYUA and my password did not work. So I don't know what I typed during the installation but the password was not uh, there. So I thought, hey, let's reinstall. Let's do everything away again and do the same job again. And then I thought, no, this is Arch Linux. Arch Linux is rolling. We never actually do reinstalls. You can keep on going and using Arch. You just fix things. So this tutorial is how to reset your password. I don't know what the password is. I typed something strange. I don't know what it was. Tried some combinations, didn't work. So, what do you do if you want to reset your password, basically? Well, I'll say it till you get bored of it. You go to the Arch Wiki. Arch, like you see, I'm still in the keyboard. So, set X key map Belgian, now I'm in a Zerti. And then, um, so Arch Wiki reset password is what I was looking for. And I got me this hit. And then you should know what all of this means. Boot a live CD. I think we're in the live CD, right? So this is Calamares that just closed. So we are the live user here. So yeah, we're in the live CD. That's done. Use password, root mount, etc. etc. But first we have to mount something. And the guys that are already moving along in our learning trajectory, whoa, complicated word, is phase five. We have here this archway installation and this all in one and all these articles in uh, phase five about Arch Linux. If you've seen one of those tutorial, tutorial, tutorials or maybe did one of them, you'll know that you need to mount a partition and you need well, in this case, to reset the password. That's the command we need. I didn't even unmount my root partition, so reboot. And um, then you have your password reset. So this might be a little bit uh, strange. So, so what to do now? We need to mount. If you follow this thing, it's going to go to this kind of information, but what and how, etc. So what did I do? I came to this thing here. I said, okay, give me the LS block. And I see that we have here an SDA2, which is going to be the largest one, 215 gigabytes. So this is the big chunk of data. That's the chunk I need to mount. So normally you would say, let's mount things. Let's make the mistake. Say so device SDA2 and then say, let's mount it in the folder mount and it says only root can do that so you'll get the idea okay so i just need to be sudo that's done we're now big chief and then it's the system says we have to use a command so we type password let's make the mistake again slash slash root the mount point we mounted it on was mnt mnt stands for mount and then the username is, is Eric and root. We'll both change them. Unable to change it, sure thing, because we're not root. And then we type in our password. I think that was the wrong one. Let's keep trying. Okay, so updated successfully. Gonna try it again, <laughs> just to be sure. So the account Eric, his password is changed. There's also the root password. But I want to be sure that it's the same and that password has been updated successfully as well. So this is what you need to do if you get stuck with this um, password thing. And then it says unmount. I don't know if you can unmount like so. Device SDA2. I think there are other commands like dash A or something. That was it. Dash dash all. So only root can do that, of course, of course. Like I said, I did not unmount last time. So just pull, pull the plug and then reboot. So this video 
is made on the live DVD, so I hope the quality is good. And I'm stopping for right now.